I want you to I want you to tell everybody what this is and what it represents here. Okay, so what we see here first before we see the modern part of Shanghai over there, we see the old one first. So you see this side first. As you can see, this whole street here we call the bound. B U N D bound. And it's about one point five kilometers now. Twenty three buildings at all. Only we one building built by Chinese people. All the buildings built by foreigners. So can you tell me which one is built by Chinese? Look the style, look the roof and the window. Very close here. You don't need to look very far. Very close. Only one. Only one. Yeah, built by Chinese. Very good. You see the one. Look that way over there. Can you see the logo back of China over there? You see the roof stretch out to the sky. That's the typical Ming and Qing dynasty architecture styles. And also look the window. Like an Asian Chinese coin with a square hole in the middle, right? So this one, Bank of China, that's the only one built by Chinese. The rest, everything by, else, yes, yeah, foreigners. Another famous building here is this one. You can see the one with the green roof on the top, right? Yeah. This one is uh, another famous hotel called the Fairmont. And uh, it's also, we call this building Peace Hotel, Peace Hotel, and also Sassoon House. Because the Jewish people named the Sassoon building this one. That's why they call this Sassoon House. But now this is a hotel, it's a hotel, green roof. Uh, another famous two buildings here is this building. Look that way over there. First, you can see that one with the clock tower on the top, right? This one is the customer house, okay. the Shanghai customer. But the most famous one, also most expensive building to build, is this one, the one next door, the left okay. one. You can see the building with the dome on the top, right? This one we call the HSBC. Do you know HSBC? No. It's a bank, HSBC bank. Most of people they know HSBC. Oh, HS Hang, uh, yes. Hong Kong Hang Shai Bank of China. Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation. It's corporation. Corporation, okay. yes. That's HSBC stand for what, you know. And uh, this one, they use spend uh, one point, like a thirty percent income for HSBC to build this one. Wow. The whole year. So you can imagine how expensive for that one to build. Thirty percent income to build the whole thing. So this one is HSBC. In 1950s, it used to be a Shanghai government, but not anymore because it's too small for government. So now it's belong to another bank called the Pudong Development Bank. So another bank because we're in the district. Yes, too. And also you can see the building like a crown on the top, right? This one we call the like a bound center, and also it belongs to the Westin Hotel. Westin Hotel is inside of this one. So you can see that, but that's the new one, not like the bound, very old. So this is the old side of Shanghai. And uh, that the new one over there. But we already see the old part and uh, look the new one here. What's so your name? What's your name? Huh? What's your name? What's your name? Hello. Hey, uh, what's your name? Uh, my name is Eric. Eric? Eric. What's your name? <laughs> so what, what grade are you in school? What grade are you? You didn't go to school today? You, 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 you didn't have junior high school? Yeah, they didn't do uh, junior high school for you guys? JSS for you? Junior secondary school? No? Who need junior high school? Who need junior high school? Now, I'm going to go back and I'm saying, what's up with that way? <laughs> All right. Good. 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 So now we already see the old part of Shanghai, and now we move to other one. So that's the new Shanghai. Before we see the Shanghai, you can see the river here. We call this Huanghu River. Huanghu. Huanghu River. Huang means yellow. You can see the yeah. color pretty dirty. So it's uh, Huang. Who means river. So that's the Huanghu River. It's our, we can say it's uh, like a mother river in Shanghai. So the whole river, it's about 114 kilometers long, and 9 meters deep. Wait. 9 meters deep. It's 114 Kil kilometers long? Long, yes. For the whole river. Wow. Yes, all the way goes to the East Sea, you know, go that direction, all the way to the East Sea, and a 9 meters deep. So this river divided the Shanghai two parts, this part and the other part. So this part is Wuxi, west side of the river, that side is Wudong, east side of the river. So, uh, like I said, moving the other way, you can see a lot of buildings. 
that whole area is called the Lu Jiazhu district. Lu Jiazhu. And it's all the financial area. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
This is one square meter. Twenty thousand U.S. dollars per square, per square meter. meter. Yes, that's the average wow. cost. Of course, if wow. you're in the financial area beside the river or some other fancy area, it's more expensive. But that's just the average cost. Twenty thousand to thirty thousand U.S. dollar per square meter. That's the average cost in Shanghai. Just like my two apartment in Shanghai, one in the middle room, one in the outer room. So that's two apartment total cost them more than three million U.S. dollars. So that's the price in Shanghai. If you go to Shenzhen, if you go to Guangzhou, or even Beijing, similar price. Shenzhen even more expensive than here. So you can oh, imagine. Really? Yes. Shenzhen is very expensive because Shenzhen is in mainland China, but very close to the like uh, Hong Kong. So that's why their price is also very high. Um, but difference in uh, compare Shanghai and Shenzhen, they all the modern city. Also, Hong Kong we can also say all the modern city, but they not like Shanghai with a lot of history, like the European style history. Because in old time, this whole area is the French concession. You know, concession. Why do you call it concession? Because French people they can do whatever they want in this area. You know. Some people they joke, uh, like uh, over there, that area over there used to be the Japanese people concession. They can do. But if somebody kill somebody in Japanese concession, then run into the French concession. If they let you in, then you are safe. Nobody can touch you. You know. Oh, wow. So that's why they call it concessions. So that's the difference. And also, take example, you can see the building over there, like a rocket over there, right? Yeah. That's the monument. It's the monument to memorize the dead people to find Japanese army in World War II. In World War II. But just as, as the left side of the monument, you can see that area with a lot of trees over there, right? Now it's small, but old time, that's the park. It's called the Huangpu Park. But interesting thing for that park is, 100 years ago, if you want to go to the park, there's a paper in front of the gate. It says, yeah, sign. no Chinese people and a dog allowed. No, 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 Why? Because wow. this is the concession here, you know. No says, Chinese people and a dog, and a dog. dog allowed, yes. And, so, also, <laughs> and also, look that way. Can you see there's a, the last building with more Chinese flags on the top, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Behind the building, Actually, you cannot see because it's behind that one. There's a well, old style, European style building. Now it's a restaurant. But at that time, that's the British concession, you know. That's the first concession in China, foreign concession. Just behind that behind building. That. Yes, behind that that's building. Time. That's the first uh, foreign concession in China. So that's the one over there. So that's Shanghai. And uh, by the way, that way over there, this is also the Fuji. Can you see that area with like a UFO over there, yeah, right? Yeah. The building one by one, like a ship. Yeah. So that whole area is Shanghai Shipping Center for the cruise. So if you take the big cruise, they will stop there. You know, so that's the cruise area. Wow. So that's Shanghai. You can see old and the new, and the past and the future. You can see that. That's wow. the interesting thing. And also, there's a lot of movie also shooting here, like a Mission Impossible. You know, mm -hmm. Mission Impossible. I don't know which one, but there's a one called uh, Skyfall. I think okay. it's in here. But at that time, Shanghai Center is not finished. Only the Jinmao Tower and the Pagoda one. And also, there's a other some one is also shooting here because this picture is so famous. When the people talking about Shanghai, they see the picture. Maybe that's the picture. You know, that's the picture. Yes, just pop. So wow. that's the one over there. So wow. daytime wow. is like this. If you have a chance to come back at night, it's totally different. When they turn on all the lights, it will be very colorful. Very colorful. Very colorful. Power, so, power is not an issue here. They, they all use that the light. LED one, so okay. they can see more. They don't more. turn off lights here? Oh, we, yes, we do. They were, like a similar time, they will turn down the lights about 7 o'clock, turn off the lights about 11 o'clock. No, 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 what I'm saying is, does power go off now? Never happen. Never happen in China. We have a, never happen in China. Power never goes off. No. Like the government never fixes things. Yeah. Power goes off. You know, the, that kind of things like uh, the road, uh, the power, the waters in China are all very good. Not like uh, like uh, Thailand. Today is good and maybe next minute everything is done. Everything is finished. Power yeah. never goes off. Like never goes off. Don't go off this today. No, never. Next time, no. Never did. Uh, never did. Uh, Plenty of energy in China. Yeah. Just wondering. Yeah, we have like a. Uh, Solar power, wind power, even the nuclear power, because we have all kinds of power things. So that's why the power never goes down. Wow. Yeah, so wow. That's, uh, that's interesting. Yeah. All the power you use, all the lights, and yet never power never, never goes off. That's never like 25 happened. million people in, in one here. city. Yes. Power never yes. goes off yes. in any of the 16 provinces. Never power happened. 24 yeah. 7. Never happened. Interesting. Very, very interesting.
See, that's the view. Do you want a picture here? I can take picture. No, we got the lesson. We, okay. we got video. This yeah. is see. This is for my people. Oh, yeah. You have a lot of friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, 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 very